Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm excited to show you uh, another uh, new uh, knife that I acquired from the series of uh, my carton knives uh, that just uh, were released uh, in China. Yes. Uh, so, uh, this is another one of those knives that you can find under different um, brand names. So uh, this one was under the brand Casivo GT956. You can also get it under the name uh, Free Tiger FT956 or Tuna Fire GT956. So uh, as far as I know, uh, this is a series of five knives. Uh, that they uh, released probably uh, one large or big OEM factory uh, commissioned the designs and uh, they are offering it uh, for sale uh, for different uh, uh, companies that are doing their own branding so on the Casivo GT956 uh, we have no uh, brand logo only the steel uh, designation or steel variant, which is in uh, this one D2. And the Free Tiger will have a Free Tiger logo here. Also, Tuna Fire uh, will have a logo right there. So, uh, this design uh, reminds me a little bit of the uh, CVV Elementum. I will show it to you right here. The feel of the of oh, the micarta is really uh, really uh, similar so it is um, smooth but you can feel the uh, the fibers but let me uh, give you the quick specifications like I always like to do so we have a overall length of 20 centimeters or nine uh, seven point nine inches uh, the blade uh, length is 8.5 centimeters or 3.3 inches. The handle length is 11.4 centimeters or 4.5 inches. Uh, the blade width is 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch. The blade thickness is 3 millimeters or 0 0.11 inches. The handle thickness is 1.2 centimeters. Uh, that is without the pocket clip, of course, or 0 0.5 inches. Uh, the period assembly uh, is a caged KVT uh, ball bearing uh, washer on the both sides of course and materials wise we have a D2 stone washed blade and we have uh, stainless steel liners a black uh, plastic clip and uh, like I mentioned nice canvas micarta or like they call it uh, high-end flex fiber so this is untreated so uh, I call it a uh, natural canvas micarta so if you like you can oil it up um, polish it up uh, do it uh, with it what you want uh, they leave the decision to you so uh, big thumbs up uh, for them to not uh, yeah uh, drench this in oil for uh, some reason like uh, brother uh, loves to, to do so the, the the brand the knife brand brother yeah so i was really excited when i opened the package and this is how it came i left it uh, left it like it was so you can uh, see what are you getting so we have obviously uh, some intricate milling inside uh, the liners for weight reduction and the weight comes in at 99.3 grams or 3.5 ounces. We have a really smooth opening. Uh, let's see the centering. The centering looks perfectly centered. Nice flipping action. Yeah. Okay, let me give you the pocket profile. After all, this is a really nice uh, deep carry pocket clip, stainless steel mirror polished 
so yeah you shall nicely uh, hide your knife in your pocket currently the the five uh, nine five six model comes in three uh, color variants which is a a green a black and a brown version for some reasons uh, like I will show in the future on my channel uh, uh, some models do not have uh, the brown micarta but have another a green one a darker one and a lighter one let's say a olive and a in dark green almost black uh, don't know why but this is how uh, they decided to release this so one other feature I would like to mention we have a nice sharpening choil right there so you will have no problems to resharpen this knife uh, as often as you like the sharpness is really nice and sharp but I would suggest uh, give it a little bit of, of stropping on your favorite uh, strop to give it that final uh, scary sharp uh, level but it's a nice uh, nice and slicing action has this knife Okay, let me give you a few size comparisons. So here was the CVV Elementum in a similar uh, canvas micarta. Here is the Kaiser Pinch, also in micarta, which I call the Chinese micarta. This is obviously treated, polished, and also probably oiled for the darker shade here is the CVV Rustic Gent in Burlap Micarta the Kubi Aries or the KU-179C Bug Sprint Pro in Burlap Micarta The Burker Plus on Bonfire in Green Micarta. The Petrified Fish 949, also a flex or micarta type uh, on the handle. Then I have here from Giant Mouse. One of my favorite DDC knives, and the Ace Grand from USB. We have the Pelican, Cebu from Fear Knife. From Brother, I have here the 1512. These are really high value knife uh, under $30 so yeah uh, with a nice uh, oiled up green micarta the 940 from Benchmade then let us continue with spider co delica Large Griptilian from Benchmade, Small Griptilian from Benchmade, Model 2 from Red, Model 1, Kershaw Leak is a buck toothpick 
my peanut from our rider. K-Bar Dozier, another excellent lightweight EDC knife. Bug Vintage Pro. Bug Vintage Select, small. Leatherman Skeletal. So overall, we have we have a really nice uh, a drop point style blade, which will be excellent for your EDC tasks. I don't know how is the how is the fidget factor on this knife because keep in mind that uh, the flipper tab here is uh, a little bit uh, pointy. Uh, it is rounded, of course, but if we would like to push too many times or uh, on a smaller poking out uh, flipper tab then uh, you could probably irritate your finger but it has a really nice uh, push button and also light switch uh, it's nicely dialed in so excellent amount of, of pressure to the detail ratio is applied in this design so no problems there okay so this was the Kesivo GT956 also you can get it under different uh, brands brand names I forgot to, to mention the price so uh, these can go as high as 27 and as low as uh, 17 depending on uh, when or where are you buying them uh, I will leave a link down below if you would like to check it out. Um, this can this can uh, probably change. It depends when I'm watching this video. Maybe the link uh, will be not available anymore. This is how uh, the things are on AliExpress. These shops uh, will pop out, have a good pricing uh, prices, and uh, then after some time they will be cancelled or just closed down. Yeah. This is how it is in China. Uh, I don't would like to comment about that, but uh, so far I had only good experience uh, with them. And if the item was not shipped out, then they returned the money. So yeah. Okay. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not, then please consider. Uh, to be uh, my subscriber. You can also uh, check out my playlist. If you are looking for uh, my carton knives or unexpensive knives or higher than knives, I try to keep everything nice and organized. So you can go and uh, check out my other videos. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, see you soon.